Hey everybody, Kuzmos here, back again with Last Dream World Unknown. We are about to meet with the Queen of Valendra, I presume. But first, let's check things out. We've got a little bit more of the upper floors, which hopefully do not take that long. I just want to make sure there's nothing to loot, because I like looting. Okay, so we're just checking out the balconies. Aha! The MAP Orb. I will eventually use those. I'm 89% sure of it. Okay, we've looped all around. We're good. Let's talk to the guards. Royal Throne Room, you are free to enter. The Queen is receiving vid visitors. You may see her if you like. Enjoy the hospitality of Lundra, Jewel of Holdra. Simper Fidelis. Um, you look queenly. Are you... No, you're the Elven Minister. Welcome to Valendra, human. You are lucky to have obtained a writ of passage from the World Council. Many humans are angry that they cannot enjoy the Decadal World Council. But the safety of the World Council is paramount. After the events that transpired in Rockwood, it was the decision of the King, Queen, and myself to close the border to ensure that nothing could befall Westonia. You're in the presence of Elan, mother of the Elves and ruler of Valendra. The King is away at the Deca Decadal World Council. Kneel before Queen Elan, ruler of Valendra. No. And our sent word that you'd be coming to Valundra. In his letter, he wrote that you'll be investigating the destruction of Rockwood. My husband believes that Rockwood's destruction may be related to, th to the appearance of the veneer approximately 500 years ago. Therefore, I suggest that you venture down into the Valundra catacombs. Elwyn kings back to the beginning of time are buried in those catacombs. Sadly, the place has become overrun with beasts and foul things and we no longer tread in into the catacombs. The place is sacred to us with so many of our ancestors buried there. When the catacombs were first overrun several centuries ago, an Or sent his most powerful warriors to explore the place. Their mission was to vanquish whatever foul essence that had polluted our precious catacombs. Sadly, they were never seen again. Later exploratory parties suffered the same fate. When exactly did it start? An excellent question. It happened soon after the arrival of the veneer. Yes, you're quite insightful. We too believe that it may have some relationship with the evil that the veneer said had come to Firma. After suffering so many losses, the catacombs were finally blocked off and no one was allowed to access. You can only access the catacombs through the forest behind the castle. Please, be careful. No one has ever returned, yet if we are to truly understand the threat that we face, you must venture down into the catacombs. Alright, so the catacombs, I could have fought to get into them, I suppose. Which, I mean, probably wouldn't be the best thing to do, since now we're getting in for free. And that is where we have to go. However, I'm curious about this whole Rat King thing. Somewhere to the south of Lundra? Like, is this... A, I have to fight them for some amount of time, or will I see him on the world map? I mean, I can wander freely since I have the MOA. I'm not seeing anything. So, perhaps it is in fact a... Like, it functions differently from the other guild encounters. Like, this seems further than what I would call south. Like, I mean, yeah, technically, well, that's no longer really south of Lundra, is it? Sometimes it can be a little fishy on what they call what. But no, I'm thinking what we need to do is like wander around a bit in the forest down here like here I don't know so what I'm gonna do maybe there's somewhere I've got it okay I did see something up well no they said south okay I'm going to wander back and forth in the forest for a little bit and see if I encounter anything I'll be right back if I do or I'll just head back in and check it out finally found the rat king spotted him from over there and uh yeah, way far to the south. I think I actually came really close to here and they said, oh, well, there's the eye, so I'll turn around. Alright, how's everybody looking? Pretty, yeah, well, mostly good. Let's get a little bit more mana for our rogue and you. Alright, let's save up. And I did not mean to come off the MOA, but sure, that works. Rat King emerged. Okay, so. Let's drop a Citadel first. 
and a advanced scouting. You've got so many things to do. Let's reduce your chances of being targeted because you tend to get messed up so bad. And no magic. And Jareth shall start stealing as soon as possible. Because I've had a habit of killing things before I get a chance to steal everything, so... Let's see about buffing up with everybody else while Jareth steals and obviously does damage. Oh. Well, you know, that'll kind of mess with that whole dealing damage thing, so... Alright, so you citadeled, you... let's give a taunt and vigilance. Okay, you're just... hit things. Yeah, you do. Don't magic. Let's go ahead and drop that. Still pretty good damage. Ah, there we go. Ruby Shoes, probably the primary item to steal from him. I mean, I haven't scanned him yet, but... Presumably so. And... Ooh, that stings a wee bit. Alright, plan of attack. How about... Let's just see how this looks. It's probably way more than necessary. But... I am perfectly fine with that. Uh, let's drop a stronghold as well. That was a little less... I feel like my other heals heal more than that. Oh well. We'll check it out. Uh, maybe it's like the huge penalty out, penalties I have. Okay, how are you looking? I mean, sure, you cast some of these things, but... Haha, <laughs> triple threat. Let's try that. And let's make sure we get a scan in there. Hopefully he survives. Can't throw it so that we can. Burgle. Yeah, Burgle will be the next one. And surprisingly, he's... doing pretty well. You go ahead and pop that to get yourself nicely healed. And we'll finally get ourselves a scan in. Like, so far, not a huge threat here. And... Wow, everything heals the party. That is a an awesome ability, to be honest with you. Okay, let's... Double Battle of Wits. Sounds fun, right? And... Expect Agile Strike to be good for you. And obviously Throat Slit. Let's see how things look. Extreme Critical, Ambrosia. Let's see, three or four items to steal. Holy! 82,000 damage. Okay, Battlefoot is good and I have two of them. Wolf. Alright, so since we're out here already and we've kind of thrown off this whole do that underground mission thingy, I happened to, while I was, uh, I eventually just said, forget it, I will search later the whole continent to see who he turns up, because nothing seemed to be working, like, I don't know, the way it was talking, I thought maybe I just needed to wander around and fight more rats, that was not the case. I don't want to save over that slot. So let's... Yeah, I just saved. Engage the Grimalkin. You are a big fella, aren't you? Alright, toss that out. And... And let's... I mean, it only lasts five rounds, but I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Scan now. Reduce your chance of being targeted. And a little of that should be good to go. We're going to still hurt from the last battle. I didn't heal up. That's probably a mistake, but on the other hand, I'm doing pretty well, I would say. Kus does a great job of tanking. Ooh, that's a really good combo now that I think of it. 
Anytime I boost my HP, if I follow it up with a triple threat, oh, that is just brutal. Drop that, and I think do a little of that. Okay, you've no magic. Should you? I mean, there's not much for you to do. I guess, man, search for yourself. I don't want to battle with wits yet because. I want to finish stealing. And I seriously think it will just completely destroy him. Like, it's comical how much freaking damage, right? Okay, that stings. I will admit that does in fact sting. So, have a triple threat. Um... Healing chant sounds good. And a lot of thievery. Let's get some defense going. Alright, so I have probably the premier item. And... I mean, yeah, I would like the other stuff, but... Oh, that is just so insanely impressive. That is... Ridiculous. Did not heal him before any though. Ooh. Okay. Have I citadeled? I don't think I have. And I should reduce his attack. And I don't quite want to Oh can that cannot remove police states. Okay, well that answers that question, doesn't it? Let's try. You missed, sir. You missed. How embarrassing. Let's see about mind draining him out. I wish I had. Uh... Oh, hello. You killed Sid. What have you done that for? That is just rude, sir. Oh, that won't work. Well. And let's check you out. Almost. You know what? Sid can stay down for another round. He'll be fine. We'll drop that just to keep everybody tip-top shape. And... This should empty him out of MP. Drastically reducing what he can do. As soon as that bleed runs out, I'm perfectly fine. I mean, I do wish that, that would land in another order. That's fine, we'll drop the fast life, it'll be A-OK. -okay. So, Sid there probably needs a few more HP. Or he needs, maybe need to wear something to increase. Good lord. Okay, we can triple threat. And... Eternal Arrow is pretty good, right? And I... Do we have everything from him yet? Yes, we do. I did not mean to have Sid just go punch him with his staff. That will not be very effective. I mean, I am impressed that this is not Hillcoos to full. Yep, super critical, two damage. Beautiful. Well, I don't see him lasting much longer. The amount of damage I'm about to pump out is a lot, well, assuming he survives. Okay, well, her Agile Strike was not great, but still. So, 35,000 from Coos, and Sid, on the other hand, with a... 33,000. Yep. I've got a lot of high damage attacks. Okay, so we can pop over here. I don't know if there's any more creatures on this landmass. I also don't know exactly where I am. I'm actually completely lost. Okay, there's Valundra. 
let's head over that way. And see what this scout says. You know what I should have done? I should have written down where the bloody scout was. Because I have no earthly idea. You don't look scouty. How? Yeah, you could be. Nope. You're looking at elf. I don't think it's elves. So maybe up here somewhere? No, not there, certainly. You could be a scout, maybe? No, you're a migrant. No, you're an elf. I don't think the scout is an elf. I mean, he could be. I wasn't really paying attention to him. Okay, certainly not those snooty pants. What about the one with the piano? No, it's an old lady. Uh, you could be a scout, but no. You're accomplished. That means you're not a scout. You look scouty. You're a cartographer. Okay, that's disappointing. You could be a scout. No, you're an ambassador. That is definitely not a, not at all a scout, sir. How about you? Moa Explorer. Dang it. And this is your private residence. Oh, you have an eye patch. No, you're just an elf with battle scars. And you're a little girl. I mean, I'm assuming the little girl's not the hunter, right? Or the mercenary brother. It's the wrong way. Is it the wrong way, though? I am a little flabbergasted as to where I need to be. Who you could be. Ah, you're as good as they say. A rare trait in today's world, Ignatius has instructed me to reward you with the following training in the toxic arrow technique. Toxic arrow allows you to dip your arrows in a nasty mix of poisonous compounds that will cause a variety of status effects when using your normal attack. Consider yourself educated. Oh. Well, I guess the whole scout thing is... The Hunter's Quest. I didn't realize I was going on that. Huh. Very nice. I mean, I almost never use a regular attack, so... There's that. Do you have anything else to say? Somewhere else to go? Thank you for vanquishing another troubling monster. Okay, so I've got to find more scouts. Where was I next? Ah, uh, yes. We have to go down to the catacombs. And we have to go steal stuff. I suppose we should... That's not the way out. Good lord, this place. I'll make my way to the catacombs, and despite my initial intentions... To get that done this episode, it it's taken a little longer than I expected it would to get to the point of, I mean, the, the whole Rat King thing kind of distracted me. So I will probably, just so we can tackle it all in one episode, hopefully, I will probably be doing that in the next episode. But I would like to go ahead and at least get down to the catacombs. That way we can jump right in, go at them. And not quite how I planned it, but it should work just fine. And where do you think you're going? Access to the Wonder Catacombs is prohibited. My apologies, I didn't recognize you. Queen said that we should be expecting you. I don't envy your task. Be careful in the catacombs. Teapot? Nothing? Okay. Aha, so this is where that area is. Well traveled. Human and Vlunder? What you do here? Elf sends you here? Oh, no, no, no. No safe down here. Bridge broken, roof collapsed. This place, huge maze by design. Elf tried to stop monster but failed. Once, pristine water and burial ground. Now, darkness invade. You no go. Too dangerous. You get lost. Never find a way back. You stubborn, if you must. Lazelle leads your way. You pay Lazelle gold. Lazelle knows secret of Valunder Catacomb. Many secret way. You have two paths to take. One very complicated. Other shortcut used by Elf. They'll give you many options. 
No think. No, I have nothing. I'm starting trying to try to speak like a goblin. Okay, Lizelle, be here if you change your mind. Alright, guys. I do believe we're going to do this catacomb exploration. It should be a pretty big doozy in the next episode. And it's probably going to be a long one, so prepare for a long haul next time. But, until then, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments. But, until next time, catch you later.